Our top story today, breakthrough research by local doctors could soon lead to a personal prescription for good health. The team at Cincinnati Children's Hospital shows us how it might help the body fight everything from cystic fibrosis to diabetes. To any of us, this may look like an ordinary working laboratory. But inside it, Dr. A.P. Naren and a team of researchers here at Cincinnati Children's Hospital are chipping away at genetic diseases. Those may include cystic fibrosis, which impacts the lungs, and diabetes, which impacts the blood sugar levels. They are doing this literally. The chip here is essentially a patient. It's the patient's pancreas. That's right. This is Dr. Naren's chip lab. Along with bioengineer Kirshik Moon, he has developed a chip that looks like this. So it allows for a sample from an individual, yours or mine, to be placed into this system. The result is an exact replica of an individual's pancreas and how it responds. So we have built nine such uh, patient chips. But the amazing part about all of this is that as this team so sat down to show me, building a personalized pancreas chip this is the head of pancreas. allows for the future of personalized medicine. The chip gives you a way to identify which is the best drug that works. Here's how it works. Rather than you getting one of several prescriptions at a pharmacy you hope will work to fight off serious symptoms, your personal pancreas chip allows them to test it ahead of time and see whether the patient improves with response to certain drugs. They know it will work because they can see it growing or changing on images that look like this one. When they look inside... Now you have the response that this patient would have in their pancreas. And it's almost like right away you would know what works for someone, right? Yes, we would, uh, we would be very, uh, very quickly be able to tell you not only what works, but how you can fix it. So that brings us today to what's in your genes and more about personalized medicine. This is kind of just a coincidence, but very cool. This is JP Canner from Gravity Diagnostics. This is AP Naren from Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Thanks for the abbreviations. We know you have, have great, wonderful names, but more you have brilliant minds. So let me start with you because we just saw that piece. You have started the study and now people are sending you things. I thought the cool piece was the chip, but you said it's not actually, it's kind of what it measures. Yes, uh, the whole idea is the chip allows you to measure not only the exocrine function, but also the endocrine function. That is, you are mimicking a pancreas of the patient, and that allows you to kind of look at what interventions can be made in real time. So when you said that to me, it was like, oh my goodness, this is the future of medicine. This is how yeah. it's probably going to be for everyone. For people not familiar with uh, who you are and what you do, tell us what Gravity Diagnostics is and what you do. So we're a clinical diagnostics uh, company. We're in northern Kentucky, so the Cincinnati region. And uh, one of our specialties is pharmacogenetic testing. So we're looking at basically different genes that metabolize enzymes. This primarily happens in the liver. And kind of how that could affect the way these drugs would would treat, pa treat patients. And so you do run into a lot of um, antidepressants is kind of a common example where a patient may not be responding to it and what happens is that medication may be broken down too quickly by the body so it's not reaching therapeutic levels for the patient. So the reason I wanted you both here is I feel like you take what he does give some information, give it back, and then you translate it to the patient. Am I right with that? Yeah, it's, it's like the bench to bedside, bedside back to the bench. So you basically, it's, it comes a whole circle. So we are able to go uh, initially look at what, using the genetic approaches, say whether the patient needs drug A or B or C, which the patient responds to the best. And then we are able to go back, fix it, and then as we are fixing this, we find the patient lives longer, has newer problems, and we come back with different model systems to study what the patient needs to be done down the road. Yeah, and I believe we have a little video. So what I loved about what he said is, um, this might someday be how medicine is delivered, that it wouldn't be you take a guess at what Liz needs, and it also might be mm -hmm. what one of you needs, but it would be just for each person because you have labs like you ready to go and ready to give back information? No, exactly, and I think something like this is, as you mentioned, you're, as you're going from kind of the bench to bedside, and then you need the clinical applications. And so 
what we kind of learned through years of genomic research is there's a lot of data out there in each of us, right? You look at the amount of strains. Like it or not. Like yes. it or not. <laughs> and so the question becomes, well, what is that actual information from that information, right? And so that's kind of the work that's being done at Cincinnati Children's is, okay, we know these specific variants within a person. How does that affect how these cells will respond to medications? And so as more research is done, that then feeds back into the clinical application. So that's kind of where companies like Gravity would step in and able to apply those scientific findings to what is the clinical outcomes. And so uh, when you see labs like that sort of dedicated to what you're doing, does it give you sort of a whole new, um, I guess, hope for how we will treat, you know, individualized and whatnot? What not? Yes, not, not only gives us hope, we also feel that it will modernize uh, uh, drug delivery, drug, uh, uh, how the drug has to be given to a patient and how much has to be given and in, at what time it needs to be given. So these companies will be helping us do things even better in a more precise fashion. So that's where I think these companies make a big difference. So he says modernize, that's a good way to put it because mm. really you used to have to go, well, I don't know if this dose is right yeah. for you. We'll try it, we'll start it. Mm. But really you could make that almost an exact science. I mean, that's obviously the ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. And then so there's obviously gonna be more to it than just obviously gen genetic interactions, but still, I think the goal is to kind of narrow down that window so that you know, you're no longer starting with kind of a shotgun approach in terms of prescribing medications for indications, but such that you know these select therapeutics would be the, the optimal ones to start with. You know, that is um, kind of what I feel like I want this show to be, okay. you know, starting on the cutting edge. So final word, if you want people to think about what you're doing, what would you probably want them to know most? What, what I want uh, people, especially in the CF uh, uh, arena, to know is that there are various drugs coming and also there are labs such as uh, Gravity Diagnostics which down the road will be able to translate some of these studies directly into the patient uh, um, uh, outcome studies and that's where I think we can make a big difference. All right, and your final thoughts when he says that is that's exactly what we're here to do? Exactly, I mean that's kind of the, the best way to move medicine forward and you know, help treat patients. Yeah, this is like really cool. This is always what I thought it would be. I thought all these teams are gonna come together. Thank you both for being here today. Most importantly, thank you for the research you're supporting oh, thank and thank you for thank the research you. that you're doing. It's a pleasure thank to share your work. And as we get results, Please share them first here. Yeah. No pressure. Thank you. All right. <laughs> we do have more to the Gravity Team, uh, D Gravity Diagnostics and Cincinnati Children's Hospital. If you'd like to learn more about this research, they're doing some amazing stuff. You can find that at local12.com. Thanks again, guys. Thank you.